find yourself being confused as to where you should land or just not sure what some of your best options might be. Have no fear. My name's Seth and we're back with another Rumbleverse video and today we'll be looking at some of the best places to land in Grapital City. This list is in no particular order and based entirely off my own experiences. So make of that what you will, but if you're familiar with my content, then you'll know you can probably trust most of the things I'm saying. Anyhow, I'm not looking to take up too much of your time, so let's get on the way. First off, this list is not going to include the main skyscraper in Grapital City. Everybody knows this place and what it's all about, so no real point putting any video time on it. Great loot, great risk, fun place to drop, have at it. Kicking off the list, we have the Gazebagon. This is one of the most underrated places in the game to land in my opinion. Not many people go here in the beginning, and if you commit to it early, you'll typically have a whole assortment of boxes to yourself to scavenge through. I've dropped down here to see gold and silver boxes cluttering the entire space within multiple times. And if I'm recalling correctly, most of the time I've dropped there, you know, there's really barely anybody there. The roof of the Gazebagon also protects you from surprise elbows while you loot, and it's open around the sides, which allows for escaping at any angle viable should you find yourself in danger while you're looting. Add to that, there's always boxes in the surrounding park area, so even if you don't get exactly what you want, more loot is essentially just a few strides away. Underrated area, give it a go. Perhaps raising a few eyebrows with this next one, the second pick of the video is the highway, specifically the highest level. So ensure if you're going to land highway, you land on its peak and not at the bottom of a slope or mid level. What makes the highway a great landing spot is the exact reason which makes a lot of people ignore or not even think to drop there. It's unglamorous, with so many big buildings and colourful places to choose from, it's easy to overlook the highway. However, the highway offers a solid amount of various loot. There's numerous boxes that are easy to find, the positioning of the highway ensures you are mostly safe from surprise elbows, the terrain makes it easy to see people coming if you're vigilant enough, open sides allow for escape or repositioning by simply jumping off into another section of the city and most of the time you'll be left to your own space on the highway as it's not a popular drop compared to other places. Many times I've dropped highway and have been allowed to freely roam along the route picking up powders, chicken and moves to my heart's content until I'm ready to jump off and start rumbling. As a tip I'd suggest getting to the start of the highway which leads out of the map since it's typically quieter there and you know there's just as much if not more loot that you can all take in at your own pace. Likely the most popular landing spot on the list so far, the bell tower is a great place to drop since the top of it normally always holds a solid amount of loot to enjoy. Of course, most of the time you're probably going to have a fight on your hands once you get there, but if you're confident in your abilities, there's a lot of good fun to be had at the top. Assuming things go well for you, you'll have various loot to choose from, a great view from above to plot your next move, a very decent position to elbow drop somebody from if the opportunity is there, and then there's the lower areas and surrounding area of the bell tower to get excess loot from if it's not too chaotic down there. There's usually lots of fights on offer around this area too, so you know it's a very decent location to get some damage done in the name of earning some perks on top of that. When up on top, if things go haywire for you, it's very easy to disengage by leaping away and at that height you can get a great starting jump off in the direction of another area to continue looting from instead, keeping you alive and efficient. And now for the tallest building on this list, the Abs Tower. This is a great selection when landing, especially if you land on its highest loot platform since it gives you even more to work with. There's a good amount of boxes up in the high section, and the section beneath making for an overall very good loot haul. By the size of this building, you're at no risk of big elbow drops from above, meaning you only have to worry about what you can see. If you punish someone off the building while looting, you can choose to stay high and take all the loot or jump off with them for an outrageous elbow drop. Not to mention you can look around for an unsuspecting victim once you're done looting to elbow drop down upon anyway. Surrounding areas offer more loot and due to your height, you can easily transfer to another building or area with a big jump, keeping you moving at a good speed and improving upon your inventory situation sooner rather than later. And of course, if you go there and you start getting beat up on, it's easy to launch yourself off over to another building and it makes it more difficult for others to follow than if you were somewhere ground level. That's why the Abs Tower, for me, is also one of the best places. 
Last but not least, VIP Tower. This is an area that's both good for loot and also great to launch pad yourself from to continue good looting. You'll normally see several worthwhile boxes when you land atop this building and it's a more than reasonable place to start your game if given the chance. You're high up, so there's low risk of being elbow dropped. You're high up, so there's a good chance you can jump off and elbow drop someone else too. It's easy to get away from if things go bad and offers a good vantage point for you to figure out where you want to go next. There's a few good buildings around VIP Tower too, so once you're done looting here, it's so easy to hurl yourself over to one of the nearby skyscrapers to feast upon all of that loot too, essentially combining into the appeal of VIP Tower as a landing spot where it benefits from all the buildings around it by association. After looting VIP Tower and one of its nearby buildings, I usually feel very equipped to head into the game and it's usually somewhat carefree or just with a person or two to deal with at most through the opening experience. So there you have it guys, some of the best landing spots in Grapital City. Again, these are all from my perspective and experience with the game. So you folks may have some other places in mind over my own. However, these have all served me well and ensured the match be both productive and fun. Always be sure to watch your back and listen out for approaching danger, no matter the landing spot. So kick some butt out there when you're touching down a Rumbleverse. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Be sure to check me out over at Twitch too. Have a good one. Set out.